today on Intuitive Reflection with your life host, Florence Leonardo. How to create a positive momentum with your morning routine. How to create a positive momentum with your morning routine. Before we dive in, first, I wanted to thank you for being a consistent supporter and subscriber to this YouTube page. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you for liking this specific video and sharing them in your community. For some people, I won't get a chance to connect with unless it is through my connection with you. So thank you for being a bridge to that new connection. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell notification icon so that you will be notified every time I release a new video. Now, let's go ahead and go back to our exploration today on intuitive reflection, how to create a positive momentum with your morning routine, how to create a positive momentum with your morning routine. I do have some notes and bullet points here, so I will be looking from time to time. Let's start with momentum. How many of you can relate that when something gets going, sometimes when that ball gets going, it's like you can even go fast enough to stop it if it's something that you don't prefer. And if it's something that you do prefer, you really can ease your foot off the gas and, and brake and just let it be. And it, it, it's this beautiful current that it takes you wherever it wants to go and therefore if you know this momentum in the beginning if you can create it this positive momentum right at the start of your day then really the rest of your day can be an ease it could be a day of flow and it's be and it would be effortless and it would be smooth and it would be smooth sailing if you will so how to create a positive momentum with your morning routine so first we're going to what is your intention what is your intention intention is taking ownership of your day that you are letting yourself know Either you are vocalizing to yourself or if you can really just be silent with your thoughts in your head and you're letting yourself know, I create my day. I create my day. Taking ownership of your day and you're letting yourself know, I create my day. Even if I can control everything, I can control my inner reality. So intention, setting your intention for the day. I create my day. And with intention, then start the night before start the night before because even if we you think that you're going to bed and you're ending the day really things can continue especially with the energy that you are going to bed with so, so start the night before creating a supportive evening routine and sleep regimen so we won't go over sleep in this particular video but sleep is an important part of your day because if you get a restorative sleep you will wake up feeling restored and if you don't get a restorative sleep you're not getting deep sleep you're not getting the sleep cycle the 90 minutes 90 seconds 90 minutes that you need for each cycle then you're going to feel that when you wake up and also what is your routine in preparation to you going to bed? What is your slowing down routine and regimen that prepares you before you actually get to bed? So start the night before and then create a plan. Create a plan for what you want to experience, accomplish for the next day. What do you want to accomplish throughout that day and how will you going to accomplish that? So creating a plan, if you need to put it in the calendar, put it in the calendar because it's, it's brain association. Your brain responds to what is important to you and what's on the calendar, your brain associates that this is an appointment, I, I'm going to do this, it's gotta get done. So create a plan and then activate your passion do something you love before allocating time and energy for everything else so if you're someone who still work for an employer that is either 704 or 905 or 10 to 6 whatever is that allocated time and window before you start that day can you create activate your passion throughout uh, in the beginning 
how can you activate your passion in the beginning? So for me, I love creative writing and I am a poet, so I love to write poetry. So I do my creative pursuits in the morning before I allocate the rest of my day or allocate a good chunk of my day for serving people or taking care of people or working work doing my work and and where i'm collaborating with people so activate your passion in the beginning of the day and what does that look like maybe you're passionate about about hiking or doing some running if it's something that you can do within half an hour to an hour go ahead and do that if not think about other things that that you enjoy is it maybe just taking some quiet time in the morning and doing some meditation. Do you enjoy coffee? Like I enjoy coffee and I don't need it, but I will have coffee in the morning because it's something that I enjoy. It's something that, that brings me in my heart and it brings me in into my body. I'm present and I am enjoying the day. So activate your passion. And on a positive note, whatever it is that you are doing in the moment and with a positive note, Let's say that, or, or, or have a positive note. So tomorrow is going to be a good day. Today is a good day. Today is a new day. Like the, the words that comes out of your mouth, the, the, the words and what you're saying and how you are acknowledging the moment, acknowledge it with a positive note. Not suppressing how you feel, but acknowledging that something is, you're gonna learn something in here or things will get better. It's not gonna be negative all the way. Like if you're experiencing something that you don't prefer and maybe you're frustrated, acknowledging the feelings, of course, knowing, not suppressing that I'm, I feel frustrated about this and allow the energy to naturally move and then take in on a positive note. I'm, I do feel frustrated about this but but things are not going to get out of out of control. I I have handle on this because I have handle of my energy. I am in control of my inner reality. I can think positively about what's happening right now and I can move my energy by acknowledging my frustration and coming back to myself and feeling hopeful about the situation. So end on a positive note. And then think, move, and groove. Think, move, and groove. Organize your brain with your body-inspired movement and mindfulness. Let me see if I remember this saying, something about, about the, a body that moves is a brain that grooves. Something like that. I can't remember where I got it, but there is your 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 body is the extension of your brain so when you move your body you are cultivating or taking care of the health of your brain so it, it all goes together or maybe you you can think first of how to move your body and then respond your body in such a way that your brain and body association and coordination is in alignment so you want to think move <laughs> and groove think move and groove and then visualize your day visualize your day this is where conscious breathing and meditation is supportive imagining what your day is going to be like in the beginning of the morning imagining if your day is going to be good, this is a new day, this is a, going to be a good day, imagining what that looks like and allowing your body to feel that energy before you even see it unfold. So that's that meditation part. And you can even do some breathing with your imagination. You are, once again, going back to, to aligning your mind, your body, and your brain and bringing that coordination. So with breathing into your imagination, you are letting your body know that this is this is real for me that i'm gonna have a good day i'm relaxed i'm not stressed about this it's going to be a good day it's like you're incorporating that vision that imagination as a reality for your bad body to your body with your breathing so visualize your day 
and cultivating a compassionate heart. We're not just mind, brain, and body. We have a heart. So this is our home. So harmonizing our brain, body, and mind with our heart. Small, consistent changes, smiling, even when things are not turning out the way that you prefer it. It's going to take practice. It's not faking it. It's not pretending, oh, everything's good, and then really you don't feel that way. Acknowledging your feeling, being present with your feelings and emotion allows the energy to naturally move and will allow you to organically be able to smile. It takes practice. When you hear this and, and apply it, it might not come naturally right away or it might not come naturally at all. But ultimately, what is true for you within you, how you think, how you feel, and how your emotion is responding is what's important and, and adjusting in such a way that supports you, that is authentic for you and true for you. But cultivating a compassionate heart. Yes, I have created my plan the night before i have visualized it i have said today's not gonna be a, today is going to be a good day but at five o'clock at three o'clock maybe at one o'clock even and things were already not turning out the way that you had envisioned it the way that you had put it on your calendar and planned it the way that you feel in that moment fixing it does not create does not ultimately change your feelings does not ultimately you're thinking differently does not ultimately stop the momentum but compassion oh that energy of love allows things to slow down allows the negative momentum if if that's what unfolded even with your intention and taking ownership that it's going to be a good day that compassionate cultivation of compassionate heart to yourself allows things to balance if you will because energy is energy energy has different forms but ultimately the purity of energy if you can come back to the purity of love and compassion is a form of that allows things to slow down if, if it has turned out to be a negative and allows you to start over right in the moment so cultivating compassionate heart that Yes, you th things didn't turn out the way you had imagined it, but it's not the end of the world <laughs> and it is not the end of the day. So closing that out, that that morning routine with or, or the, the end of the day with, hey, tomorrow is a new day. Going back to that cycle now, because the more you do it, the more... The more you do the practice and the more you cultivate a compassionate heart, the more you'll be able to see or the, the better, the, yeah, you'll be able to see that things is going to turn out. Things are going to create a positive momentum. Your morning routine will create a positive momentum because routine, any new routine takes about 21 days for the brain to capture it and say, okay, this is the new behavior now. Your brain captures it, your body starts responding as a behavior where this is this is this is a part of you now. It takes about 21 days of that repetitive practice, catching yourself in the moment. So as we close, once again, to create a positive momentum with your morning routine, starting with intention, taking ownership. I create my day. And taking responsibility that if thing turns out not the way you had intended can you take responsibility for your feelings can you take responsibility if you have negative thoughts when you see things unfold the way you don't prefer can you take responsibility for your emotion your frustration and maybe anger shows up so taking ownership and taking responsibility and starting the night before creating a supportive evening routine and a sleep regimen that therefore when you wake up and get off of bed your body feels restored rejuvenated it really does feel like a new day it doesn't feel like you're carrying on from what happened yesterday creating a plan scheduling the things that you want allowing yourself to visualize it and see it on your calendar writing step by step how you want the day to uh, to unfold and then activating your passion in the beginning of the day in the morning doing something that is 
for you that makes you happy that excites you that you enjoy that you love maybe you love watching movies can you do 15 minutes a day before you do everything else watching tv but also knowing that how are you responding is this is watching a movie every day really cultivating something a heart of passion in you or is it creating a bad um a bad habit so being aware of how you're responding to the things that you are doing and creating for yourself and being flexible to to move and sh and change things so activate passion in the morning doing some allocating time and energy for for the things that you love and that makes you happy and and on a passion and on a positive note or creating a positive note that today is going to be a good day making that declaration if you will there you go today's going to be a good day today's a new day i've got this and then think move and groove doing some movement in the beginning of the day that is coordinating your brain your brain and your body so making doing some movement is it working out in the beginning of the day is it some yoga how about some quick HIT movement, high intensity move movement that you can do, the tr high intensity training, even just for 10 minutes or 15 minutes or however way where you you are make, doing some movement that is positive in the beginning of the day. And then visualizing your day and incorporating the visualization with some breathing incorporating your visualization with some breathing so training your body that what i'm seeing is not just some woo woo imagination it's not going to happen no this is real i'm breathing into it this is real this is real and then cultivating a compassionate heart for you no matter how things unfold i'm going to be compassionate to you that allows you that you're not just in your head and in your brain and in your behavior, you are in your heart. That this energy of the heart is so powerful. And completing and ending your routine with today, to, tomorrow is a new day. If things doesn't unfold the way that you expected it, tomorrow is a new day. Tomorrow is a new day. That is it. That is it. Thank you for being here with me and co-creating this experience that we're all encountering right now. How to create a positive momentum with your morning routine. Leave a comment. Leave a feedback. Let me know how your morning routine turned out. Come back here after 21 days and leave a comment again and see. Uh, let me know what is a highlight for you, how you're creating your morning routine, how are you feeling right now before you create a morning routine, and what is your morning routine already right now, what does it look like, and how are you revamping it, how are you starting something new for for you since you've come across with come across this video. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, hit the notification bell icon so that you will be notified every time I release new video and new content for this channel. Thank you so much for being here again. I appreciate you. I am your life host, Florence Leonardo. Enjoy your day and I will see you on the next video.